Hello everybody! It's that time of the month again. Not that time of the month. I haven't done a kind of like favorite style things I'm loving right now. That's kind of just the new title I've been loving calling it. Things I'm loving right now. I haven't done one of these videos in a bit. It feels like a bit. So I wanted to film one today and I'm kind of mixing some makeup, skincare, hair care, other cares of things. Let us move on to the things I'm loving. First thing I'm loving are my nails. My freaking nails. Oh my gosh. I just went on a trip with Glossier to LA and they took us to a place called Olive and June and I got these black nails with gold foil on them and I'm obsessed and I think that this is going to be a style that I'm just gonna continue for the rest of the fall and winter so um yeah I am absolutely in love with those loving nails right now yes I do have fake tips on these because my nails refuse to grow absolutely obsessed loving this dark side of life I've never had black nails before I usually always go for a nude with the occasional mix of like a red but I've never gone dark and I'm loving it let's start with skincare I want to talk about something that actually used to be a major non-favorite of mine which is so interesting to me. If you guys have been watching YouTube for a long time, you may recall a time where everybody was obsessed with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I remember watching videos and feeling this like strong pulsating need to go buy this beauty elixir. I went out and I spent a bajillion dollars on this beauty elixir spray. I actually think I bought the travel sized one, the smaller version, so it might not have been that much. But I remember spraying it on my face and my face immediately burned. My face went on fire. It lit up. It was it was so painful and my skin was just so sensitive to it. And I remember thinking, how the hell are all of these beauty YouTubers and gurus and bloggers so obsessed with this and using it? I'm like, I don't understand. And that was the last time I ever tried it. Then a few months ago, they sent me their limited edition bottle. They had their anniversary bottle. It's this beautiful gold version of the Beauty Elixir spray. And I remember opening it and thinking, oh my God, this product burned me back in the day, but it had also been a few years. My skin has changed a whole bunch since then, and I thought I would give it another try. And I was so shocked, you guys. I wish I had filmed my face. I should have filmed my reaction of using this because I sprayed this on my face, and I experienced the most beautiful, cooling, wonderful facial spray sensation on my skin. It was amazing, and I've been using it since. Quite a good chunk of it is gone. I've been keeping this on my bathroom counter and spraying it before I apply my uh, skincare because I used up my rose water, my anthroposophy rose water, and I've also been using this as a refresh spray throughout the day. I kind of just keep it chilling. I'll come upstairs and I'll spray my face. I'm feeling a little bit dull and it just totally refreshes my face. It's amazing. I don't know what changed, if they changed the formula or what happened, but my skin is loving it right now and this has been added into my skincare routine. Full frontal, it's on the counter. I'm loving it and yeah, that's that's a great addition to the skincare routine right now. Another skincare product I want to mention, I've been talking about it so much, but it's the Glossier Super Bounce, the Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin B5 Serum. I'm obsessed with this. I had fully used up a bottle. I ordered this second one before I left on my trip because I knew that I would finish my bottle while I was gone in New York and LA. And I did. I actually used it up in New York and didn't have it for that whole time when I was in LA. I was so upset. Skin was missing it so much. But I used up a whole bottle of the serum and I ordered another one um, along with lipsticks. Yes, I did buy lipstick backups of the Generation G lipsticks. I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed. This serum has totally changed my skin. It's so cooling. It's wonderful if you have dry sensitive skin. It makes my skin feel amazing and I charged at the mailbox and got this out and was so thrilled to have it back in my life. So Glossier Super Bounce, big favorite. Loving this a lot right now. I want to talk about a perfume because I've been using the Burberry My Burberry blush perfume and it's absolutely fabulous but I was shopping with my friend Talene the other day and we were at Zara and um, she didn't end up getting anything so she was just like standing at the counter while I was paying for my pile. <laughs> And she sprayed this perfume and I was like, oh my God, Talene, have you been wearing that the whole time? Like, what is that smell? She's like, I wanna smell this. And it was this Zara Cashmere Rose perfume and it was $25. That's the cheapest damn perfume I've ever heard of in my life. Even the Bath and Body Works Pink Chiffon perfume is $30, okay? So this was 25 bucks, literally the cheapest perfume I've ever seen from anywhere. Super cute packaging and it smells absolutely divine. We both bought it. It smells delicious and it's a giant bottle. It's like a more sophisticated like warm but fresh smelling thing. I sprayed it on my mom and she was like oh my gosh this smells so good and yeah I just thought I would mention that this is absolutely fabulous. It smells delicious and is so affordable so if you're looking for a great perfume and don't want to spend a hundred billion dollars on a bottle of liquid then this is an amazing one to go test your uh, sniffies out. They also have a bunch. They had like four or five laying there and I didn't even smell the rest. I just bought that one. So A hair product I have been loving is the Axis Trash Texturizing Cream. Now Axis is the salon I go to here in Vancouver. They make all of their products locally. They have a whole line of all their Axis stuff. I love their hair oil, their purple shampoo. I use their shampoo and conditioner. 
I'm totally sipping the Axis Kool-Aid, but I just wanted to mention the trash cream. And what I love about this is, for example, when I spray my Whey Texturizing Hairspray, which I do still spray on my hair because I want it to get that grit. I want it to be nice and, and dirty and gritty, you know? But it leaves my hair feeling super, super dry and like sandpapery. But with this, I get the same effect. I get that gritty textured feeling on my hair, but it's kind of like a hair oil in one. Like it doesn't leave my ends looking and feeling like straw. It kind of smooths everything out while still, sorry, I'm balding. <laughs> while still adding that texture in. And I'm pretty sure that Axis ha does ship their products online. I'm not sure, but otherwise, if you're local in Vancouver, this is an amazing product, especially if you have this kind of shorter hairstyle and you're looking for something to add some body and texture. It's an amazing product and I've been loving it a whole lot using a good chunk out of this thing. You only need a little bit. Yeah, loving that texturizing cream. If you guys have any hair recommendations, hair product recommendations, please do let me know. I'm kind of on a hair obsessive train right now. Thank you, Kelly from Glossier. She was like, I invest only in my hair products. And I was like, I wanna buy more hair products too. Let's talk about some makeup products. I am in love with an eyeliner right now, as you guys may have known if you've been following me for a long time. I basically exclusively use the MAC Coffee Eye Pencil since the dawn of time, since I worked at MAC, which feels like five billion lifetimes ago, but nothing has replaced my love for it in a really long time until I used this Marc Jacobs brownie, what's it called, gel eyeliner? Highliner matte gel eye crayon. Try saying that 10 times fast. It's a beautiful brown eyeliner. I'm wearing it on my eyes today and I've kind of just smudged it around my eye line. I love this because my coffee eye pencil, I mean, I've had it for years, so totally fair, but it's kind of dried up and it's at the point where it's just crumpling every time I apply it on my eye. These Marc Jacobs eyeliners are the most smooth and creamy eyeliners that I have ever, ever come across and used. They're amazing. They don't tug at your eyelid at all. They're so, so smooth when you're gliding them on there. They're super easy to blend out when you want to do like that kind of lived in smoky eye look. They're totally safe and comfortable for the waterline as well. That's a huge, huge love of mine right now. Now the next product I'm loving is one that I actually haven't mentioned on my channel yet because I I bought it while I was in LA. The Glossier gals took us to the store called Violet Gray and it was the most insane. I literally, I just took pictures of every corner and surface that existed in that store. It was so crazy beautiful and the whole concept behind the store is that it's all curated beauty products. Founder of the Violet Gray store was just really a, a gal obsessed with beauty products and she kind of thought that there was nowhere that you could buy a curated collection of makeup. You know, like Sephora's the mothership, Ulta's the mothership. They just have so many products and it's kind of hard to pick and choose so she made this store where she sells the best of the best products so anyway it was just fabulous walking around there and she had a little kojin do kojin do <sighs> Kojin. She had a selection of their products and I had previously tried the aqua foundation and absolutely loved it and then Sam Sammy Samantha was like hello you must try the moisture foundation it's my absolute favorite foundation and obviously I did so I've been wearing it for the last week or so and I'm totally in love if you have dry skin this is fabulous it's about a medium coverage light you can build it up really beautiful creamy consistency it's really hydrating on the skin adds a beautiful glow but not like a wet glow you don't look oily I'm wearing it on my skin right now you can still see my skin through it it's like the perfect amount of coverage um, so I'm really loving that right now I have the shade 013 their shades are kind of weird. I would definitely suggest swatching them on yourself, buying it in store if you have one near because they do sell this brand on Beautylish which ships worldwide which is awesome uh, but it was kind of hard to choose your shade selection on there. They're a little bit wonky. Definitely google shades of the foundations before making a purchase but it has no artificial colors, fragrance, petroleum based mineral oil or parabens. The Marc Jacobs iconic eyeshadow palettes. Oh I love them so much. I love them so much and I hate it. I hate how expensive they are and I hate telling you guys that I am in love with a product when I know that it's absurdly priced but I just think that their relaunch of these palettes are so good they they totally change the formula to this beautiful buttery consistency that blends out so beautifully on the eyes basically the only eyeshadows I've been wearing um, I've been doing so many smoky eyes I'm so inspired to do so many like dark intense rusty smoky eyes I'm absolutely in love with them the two that I love the mostest are scandal lust and glambition 720 and 740 this one's a little bit more red toned this one's a little bit more cool toned. I did a tutorial on this one and then my get ready with me in New York I actually used both of these eyeshadow palettes in unison together combined. They're the only eyeshadows I've been putting on my face and I'm totally in love with them and if you you know are willing to dish out the extra cash for them I definitely recommend checking them out because they just they totally killed it with the new shade selection and there's a palette for everybody in there. They're absolutely beautiful. These are my two favorites. 
and I am loving them a whole lot right now. Final makeup product I want to talk about are the Glossier Generation G lipsticks. Crush is the only lipstick I took with me on my two-week Europe trip. I wore it basically every single day and then more recently I purchased the Cake shade. The Cake is the perfect perfect nude shade. Any of my photos that you see from my time in New York and LA I was wearing this. The only nude shade I was wearing. The thing that I love about these lipsticks, I know I've, I kind of find it funny. A lot of people were saying that they don't like the packaging and that they were kind of flimsy and they were breaking and whatever and I thought it was quite the opposite. I love how this is packaged. I think it's just so simple and minimal. They're really compact and you just get a nice small applicator so you're not scared about going all over and crazy all up on your lips. Um, I think it's beautiful. I love the packaging personally. I guess that's a personal taste thing but, but what I love is the texture of these. It's a matte lipstick but it's a sheer matte lipstick. It just goes on it as this really glorious lightweight tint on your lips. You don't feel any product. You don't feel any buildup. Like right now I'm wearing this liquid lipstick and I can feel it on my lips. You know, I'm aware of this feeling. This is Hot Fire by Dose of Colors, Desi Katie, by the way. And that's what you expect from a liquid lipstick. But this is just this beautiful sheer formula that you don't feel on the lips. You don't detect it at all. It adds a glorious stain, super long wearing. I'm obsessed with them, I, all of them really, but Cake and Crush are my two favorites, the nude and this bright, beautiful pink. Yeah, I can't quit these. I've been wearing them nonstop. Huge, huge favorite of mine right now. Probably will be forever. Now to nicely round off this video, I want to talk about a couple of jewelry favorites. I always post my jewelry on Instagram, especially lately, because I had never thought that I would be so in love with a choker. But this one, I'm loving, and I pretty much wore it to every event that I've been to in the last month. Uh, this is a Leah Alexandra choker. She hollered at me with this choker and also these bangles, and I basically haven't taken them off since. They're so great. I actually should have worn this really really loving these right now they're gold plated she makes super beautiful jewelry she makes the uh, moonstone ring that i wear every single day of my life i've been so enamored with all of her pieces lately i actually went and met with her and chatted with her and she gave me stuff to give away to you guys which was super amazing. Thank you so much, Leah. You were awesome, and I'm basically obsessed with her. So really, really loving her pieces right now. They're minimal. If you guys love dainty, minimal jewelry, you will love her pieces. She also ships worldwide, and she's local. Her studio is in Gastown here in Vancouver, which is awesome. I love to support local people. Local lovin', I tell ya, her pieces are awesome. I'll link them all down below. But I also did just wanna mention my uh, true obsession with statement earrings right now, which is really ironic, because I just realized I forgot to put some in today. Um, but I've been loving dangly earrings and have just been wearing them all the do long day. This is a set from Evernew. This is one I got at Zara. I've been loving dangly earrings. These are some big hoops from Windsor store that just make me feel so rockin' and hoppin'. Loving statement earrings right now and I think it's because, I think it's as soon as I cut my hair short that I was like, wow. This is such a fun accessory to play with and it totally makes an outfit. I'm loving them, I'm loving them right now. My ears are not happy about it because uh, I have really, really sensitive ears. I usually can't wear anything that's like not gold or silver. So, you know, my ears are just bleeding as I'm wearing these like fake earrings, but you know, it's worth it, beauty is pain. Anywho, that wraps it up, folks. Those are all of the things that I am currently loving in my little world. All the products that have graced my face and body and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what products and things you guys have been loving lately. What are the current things that are making you tick? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.